strippers, bomb training, day school suit, and beating the hell out of your fellow man. That's what keeps me healthy. And now, using training methods I perfected, it's going to work for you. The BJ Spit for Football. Watch those pounds fall off. I'm down to 300 pounds using exactly the method I demonstrated on tape. I mean, who are you going to trust to get fit? A man who can rip your arm off and beat you to the wet end? Or some aerobics instructor who wouldn't get drafted by the local hopscotch team? Hell no. BJ's Fit for Football. Out now on beta and VHS. Remember, to win the game of football all life, you have to annihilate everything in your path in a blind race. Ever since Linda started working, our kids are home alone. We tried hiring a nanny, but she wanted health insurance. Guess you're the new owner. What are you, mob, cartel? You don't look Mexican. Anywho, I guess you better get on with the things that are gonna change around here, crap. Maybe threaten one of the drivers. Go steady on Ted over there. He's just had his hernia fixed. Well, yeah, things are gonna change around here, lady. Oh, crap, Sonny. Might as well leave this to me. I've been doing this for years. Now, here's this. We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management team... Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Ow. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah. I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Starfish Island. Any takers? Tommy here. I'll take it. Oh, baseball and national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me. I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just wanted you to know what I did. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jobs who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Baby, I played professional sports for 14 years, including high school, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. With that little mustache you busting out, looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, oh, no. Damn, baby. You're so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully. This Just is my fair. Back off, talking. asshole. Like sensitive guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great beat into a giant that has to tell everyone how important you are. Come on, get it. Okay, okay, please, don't hurt me. Sad video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a married man. I'm on my seventh. So you got a big family, all those wives. That's fantastic. Not really. You see, I really like family, especially some show up you didn't know existed. It's I tell you, Father's Day, I'm scared to go to my mailbox. My big heart has caused me a lot of heartache, but when you're in the public eye, you can't always tell what people are about. BJ has met some real magnificent people. Seven wives, that's fantastic. No, I have one wife, I had six before that. So you downsize, right? Oh, yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So, oh my God, isn't this getting intimate, BJ? I feel like we are really connecting. I like to connect with you. Other men may fumble, but I go into the trenches like a doleman. That's the extra part of my video. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, running the ball is
guitars, prancing about, giving it the skinny thing. And I say, what is this? I mean, what in the world is this? These people ain't fit, they ain't got a clue. When you fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know eyes fit for football, able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for an hour straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you gonna uh, bust a aerobic move? Hell no! But when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he tears ligaments in his back and never play again, I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. And I sure know, I ain't been there. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take a day on washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? But put a man in a helmet and a cup, and he can wash the car in dignity. That's fighting fit for football. It really very simple. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Calling all cars. We're losing fares all over town. What's with you guys? DC cabs keep beating us to it. They just got too many cars. We can't compete. Mr. Vestati, if you're out there listening in, you want to put the VC cabs out of action before we go back. We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip Medication Switching Night. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facilities. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. drive through service also available. He was just the boy next door. for BJ's fit for football. Well, Angela, anybody can do it. What you need is a real expensive gym, a team of trainers, medical practitioners, dietitians, a big yeah, crowd, boy. and a opponent who wants you dead. Dead in the dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood-sucking leech of a man who will destroy you if you don't destroy him first. A man you like to set animals on. He's the enemy, and you sit in the box so for his time just right, and then you pound baby like a kitty cat and cat bitch. I'll sack a man, I'll drive him hard again and again, because if this comes my way, I'm to step outside yourself like an astral projection and police go Kent State on you and, and people are crying and bleeding and, and, and pouncing each other in the face and that's just in the locker room before the game. That's your idea of fun? Yeah, I, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, mine too. That's why I'm making a comeback. I've been retired two years and I'm telling you, selling cars or appearing in soft drink commercials is not fun compared to having 50,000 low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever, screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the Mambas. That's actualizing itself. Wow. I will bury you. Car 13, we got a Miss Cortez as for you especially. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. Six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a fiddler crab. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just moat and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it on. Of course. I, I mean, when? Uh, soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But, and don't call it a comeback. Like the song said, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant boozy gave me nothing to work with. The owners of it. What owners are you talking about? The owners of the team, they gave me nothing. They didn't reach my marriage bail. I worked my ass off all those years sweating blood and, and puking my soul out, and they treat me like a tractor. Roll me around, treat me no better than the dogs. The guys that got hurt, they never saw a penny out of those muscles. That's just like Jade. Who's Jade? Jiffy. 
My friend, she's a goth. She got sacked for wearing makeup and an I Hate Life t-shirt to work and never saw a penny. She like um, football stuff. She teaches kindergarten professionally. You know, I know a lot of players who need to go back to school after they finish playing. It's a tough life and you lose something. What did you lose? Oh, addiction, something. It's brutal out there. That's just like Jade. Those kids are evil little brats. Listen, are you going to talk about your freaking friends who dress mm, like... No sign of Mercedes. I thought we hit BJ. BJ Smith, and I feel alive. I mean, really alive. Ain't nothing more and bigger than holding a man's head in your hands and looking him in the eyes and saying, I can kill you in one second, old man. And he says, I got a wife. And you said, give me all the money in your cash register. What are you talking about? <gasps> BJ, are those muscles real? Let's go into that, because the answer is yes. Implants or nothing. Wow, you're enormous. <laughs> nah, this guy's twice my size, but I'm quick, rich, and angry, like a Republican. So, um, um, I see. Look, I ain't got anything more to say to you, and I can't fall in love with another gas or I'll get sacked. So let's go to the phone. Who's on line one? Hey, Amy, I'm a first time caller. How you doing? I love your show, sorta. DJ, man, you're awesome. Here's my question. How'd you play that game against San Andreas? Two broken legs. Oh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Wow, man, I don't know what to say. This is the greatest day of my life. Well, why the hell you call in? Don't worry, I'm a professional. The method I use in the game against essays is actually a part of my exercise video. When in doubt, go for the groin. I hope that answers your question. That's a problem with the public. Dang it. I get it all the time. Know what I'm saying? It's time Absolutely. for Kaufman's cab, Guardian Angel, to eat some Fender. Like, are you that girl off the television in that show? And I say, no, I'm the girl from the radio. I just look like her. Anyway, BJ, that's all we have time for for now. Thanks, Amy. And um, look after that mustache. OK. Thank you. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Are you tired of dad? Dad, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam story. You puppies! Awesome! Lady Genetron, you can play video games just like you were in the arcade! Excellent! The Degenitron gaming system plays free! What? 